All right. Hey guys, how's it going? I had to do it. I had to just check it out. So uh, I just played Anthrax uh, from their latest studio release, I, I think from 2016. I was really surprised at how they sounded and uh, really, really liked it. Um, but I, you know, so I thought, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to listen to something early. So I have chosen their very first album, Fistful of Metal. Uh, from 1984 it's 10 songs and it's 35 minutes long it's almost 36 minutes long but uh, I'm going to listen to the most listened to track on the album which is the second track and it's called Metal Thrashing Mad and it's got a million almost a million and a half views um, it's like double almost well yeah it's about double almost uh, the next Death Rider which is the first the first uh, track, but that's kind of a, not a good indicator because a lot of people will hit the first track and then it'll count as a view and then they won't listen to anything else or whatever, you know, how the first tracks go. But yeah, it's only two minutes and 42 seconds. So that's what we got. We're going to check out Metal Thrashing Mad from Anthrax uh, from their debut album. It's kind of more what I expected. Russian mad dang man that's kind of more like what i expected um but even that it's like it's like i liked it you know it's like that's kind of what i was listening to back in like the early 80s you know judas priest and and stuff like that uh, but i was listening to a lot of stuff um uh you know but by 84 when that was released that's a weird year for me that's a really uh that's a uh I got in a really bad motorcycle accident in 1984 and it took me quite a long time uh, of convalescing to recover. So things kind of changed for me in 1984. So I missed, I missed, I think some of that I didn't, and I never really caught back up uh, as far as like that kind of music. And, 
uh you know i was kind of listening to like crosby steals and nash <laughs> and things like that uh going back and getting some of the mellow music and just kind of like trying to get my my mind uh right you know but uh that might have helped if i would have listened to that that might have got me up and going a little quicker <laughs> dang it oh, i missed it but uh yeah it was like def leppard and 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 that kind of stuff um uh i was listening to um because I really liked uh, Def Leppard's first album, which that kind of sounded a lot like it, you know. Uh, that sounds like a, an early Def Leppard song on that their first album. Uh, all what was it like? In through the night or all through the night or something like that. Great album. Love that album. Such a good album uh, for Def Leppard. And. Uh, you know, I don't know. Just missed them. I missed Anthrax. I don't know why. I just, I, it just, I didn't want to get poisoned. I guess the, I didn't want to get Anthraxed, uh, so I avoided it. I don't know, <laughs> but that's cool. That singer surprised me. Now that is that the same singer as the one that was recorded in the song we did from 2016. I don't know, man. He had the Rob Halford scream there for sure. Dang. Okay. Well. um, that was good. I liked the drums, you know, it's just a good kind of like uh real kind of power uh beat, you know, kept the kept it going and uh good lead. That lead was kind of interesting. The mix was pretty good, you know, for 1984 thrash metal, you know. Uh I wonder how much they spent on that album, you know, I wonder how much that cost them to make and where they made that. Um, you know, it sounded pretty good, not bad at all for back then and being a first album of a thrash metal band, you know? Uh, so I wonder where, I wonder who, uh, who paid for that. <laughs> Very good though, man, I'm surprised. Um, now I don't know. I'm confused a little bit with the band. I'm, I looked at a couple pictures in between, um, the two anthrax songs I did and, I don't know. It's like back then they got this, the long, you know, metal hair and stuff. Not, not the big hair, metal hair, just long, like metal hair, just, you know, t-shirts and, and, and jeans kind of metal, you know, not the, not the glam metal of, uh, uh, you know, like poison and, and those kind of bands, uh, that when they started on early kind of wearing makeup and and all that kind of stuff pretty boys and stuff it wasn't that kind it was just you know and then then i see then i know that i recognize that bass player you know it's kind of the bald hair and the and the big beard isn't that from isn't he from anthrax i thought he was but i didn't recognize him in any of those pictures from back then so so it's got me really curious and kind of like a little bit confused so any kind of updates or any kind of information you can give me just helps out. Um, if you're a big Anthrax fan, I'm sure you can just rattle that stuff stuff off and, and uh, you know, in a couple sentences, get me a little bit caught up. Uh, some of the relevant points there that I'm missing. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for listening. And uh, as always, you know, if you like the channel and you've been here a while and you keep coming back, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you're interested in helping out the channel, you've been coming back quite a bit and you like the channel, um, there's ways to help out down in the uh, description, including my Patreon. And uh, that'd be something that you can go over and check out. And um, I'm doing a lot of stuff over there as well. So check that out. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video and also down in the comments. I appreciate y'all. And you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.